state of you? It's good gear. <laughs> For a nightclub? You warmed up. You're joking. Huh? You got to do some weights after. I'm not just quicker. I'm stronger too. Yeah, in your dreams. Yeah. You were saying... I'll go past if you're going past. Why should I? Well, I've got you to do the running for me. Yeah, if you can keep up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grandad! <laughs> Come on! Oh, good, you're ready. It is hardly the Karen Hollins Guide to Fashion. Hmm? A slim volume. Have you read it? Of course. Obesity leads. What are they? Something you plug into for reverse liposuction. We are not interested in the head of the obesity initiative. We are interested in the chief executive of the PCT. Mr. Galaflakis. We'll eat him for breakfast. Mr. Galaflakis has gone. Intrigue. To be replaced with Gerald Hannan. Highly political, been around for years. Finally got the job. And yes, before you ask, he's a little portly. Portly? Distinguished, prosperous. You mean fat. We'll get a good lunch. At a meeting to discuss losing weight. <laughs> They're fatties. Tell them to eat less. <laughs> Not funny. We'll be back this afternoon. If I didn't have this social services thing, I... Listen, you are going to be the only partner here. Absolutely. Now, Mrs Tenby is on holiday, but Elaine has volunteered to come in. Oh, still trying to make a good impression. Any problems, just call me. I'm sure I can handle anything that happens. Well, call me anyway. OK. Right, you ready? It was your day off today. What better way to spend it than helping people? Nice weekend? Superb. Nice to be home. Glad to see the back of me. Could you let me know as soon as possible, please? Thank you. Right, everyone. We are Dr. Down. Heston and Mrs. Tembe are away. Yeah, there's something going on. So Elaine's coming to help us out. Least I could do. Nice to be needed. Thank you. I may have to disappear for a meeting at any moment, but let's be on our game. So I wouldn't let him get away with this. Yeah, at least we've got the morning off from her. Show them we can cope with anything that's thrown at us. Thank you, people. People. Thank you, people. People. <laughs> throwing his weight around again. That's all I need. He must have a lot on his mind. Don't tell me about it. Do you know, if it was my day off, I'd be lying in a darkened room. I need a new spray for the angina and more painkillers. What kind of pain are you getting? Oh, all sorts. Wait till you're my age. 1941, so you're 69. Don't tell them at work. You still work? Afternoons and weekends at the DIY Superstore. OK, well, let's get you checked out. Jacket off, right sleeve up, please. Oh, I think I'm 59. You smoke? Oh, not for years. Not uh, drinking on the head, too. Same weight as when I joined the army. And I can still lift it at the bench press. Your bench press? You've got angina. <laughs> I can still outrun my grandsons, all three of them. You have to stop lifting weights, OK? I'm serious. You look as if you do a bit yourself. Occasionally. What's your body fat ratio? I haven't checked. OK, a little high, but nothing to worry about. How about cholesterol? You want me to check your cholesterol? No, yours. You don't drive a Bentley without getting it serviced. <laughs> don't smoke, drink, watch my diet, keep active. It's the aches and pains that slow me down. Well, slowing down might not be such a bad idea. It's work that keeps me going. You know, you can build a dependence to this type of thinker. <sighs> the only way I can keep going is to work. The only way I can work is to take painkillers. Well, I'll only take them if I need them. Cross my heart. Uh, you couldn't do it for two months worth, could you? I'll stop the weights. Two months it is. Thanks, Doc. You do know this is a complete waste of time. Really? We're interested in the chief exec of the PCT? Mm-hmm. But PCTs are going to be done away with. So they say. So what's the point of being here? Unless this is about the bigger picture. We're here to find out about these new GP consortia that are replacing them. Why didn't you say? You need to get a feel for these things. <laughs> so, what are we trying to get out of this meeting? Hard to say. Nobody knows much yet. <laughs> then how can we find anything out? We're not. But we need to be involved, make sure that no-one knows more than we do. 
And meanwhile, we're talking about the Chubby Trail. The obesity care pathways are. Mm -hmm. We're actually here to determine the future of our practice. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what social services told me. Yes, she is. OK, I'll send through. Dr Granger will see you now. Mrs Peel! Dr Granger. Have you considered yoga? What? Rather than lying in a darkened room, you could recharge in one. I'd have to plug myself into the mains. It's not just Daniel, is it? I overheard Imogen and Cherry last week discussing Rob. Thought you might want to talk? You turn 15, so yeah. So, that's him. Gerald Hanley. Hmm. He's a teddy bear, nothing to be frightened of. I've yet to meet the man that frightens me. <laughs> Come on, I'll introduce you. I usually find that a little harmless flirting gets me what I want, that and a good solid argument. You look good enough to eat. Gerald. <laughs> well, I don't want to spoil your appetite. You know me better. You must be Ruth, my predecessor mentioned you. <sighs> Doctor Zara Carmichael, a partner. Ruth's not with us anymore. So I'm afraid you're stuck with me. Julia's told me all about you. Nothing but good. I don't believe it for a moment. I'd be disappointed if I did. <laughs> Better to say nothing than say the wrong thing, especially when you're nervous. <laughs> I'm not nervous. No. <clears throat> Come in. Don't shout at me. Why would I shout at you? Social services and moved the meeting again. Oh, come on. I gave them my mobile number. Why don't they just phone me? I'll mention that to them the next time they ring. And uh, Mr Fields is back. Uh, come through. Thank you. Mr Fields, take a seat. You forgot to give me my prescription. I don't think so. Could you have lost it? Goes in my wallet, inside pocket. Place for everything. And everything in its place, since I was 18. But you're not a teenager. The fact is that uh, it's not just the aches and pains, it's our brains. They slow down as well. I do my Sudoku. And that's good. But eventually, we just have to do less. <sighs> I can't afford to stop working. You don't have to. But you do have to put less pressure on yourself, both physically and mentally. I won't be able to do anything. Not without my spray. Slow down. I suggest since we've dealt with implementation of the obesity care pathway, we examine sector-based evidence, discuss its effectiveness, etc. after lunch. Wouldn't want to be put off our food, would we? <laughs> Unless anyone's got anything to add? Speak up. You don't look the shrinking violet type. All right. Uh, all this jargon. Implementing this, examining that, obesity care pathways. It sounds like a pavement widening scheme. Why don't we just tell our patients to eat less? Have you actually read the report? Yes. I mean, as much as one can in an evening. I've, I've skimmed it. Semi-skimmed. <laughs> The mainstay of any new paradigm is that the service has to fit the patient, not the other way round. Yes, of course. The sort of top-down implementation you're suggesting has been thoroughly discredited. Yeah, I didn't mean that. I'd okay. recommend the full-fat version, my dear. Let's eat. Any problems? Yep. Door's always closed. Don't tell me. Social services have called again. No, Wayfarer Pharmacy. What? They've just realised they've filled the same prescription twice, once for a Fred Fields and once for a Jeremy Fields on Fred Fields' behalf. Could it be a mistake? Call me suspicious living with Rob all these years. Oh, if it were just the spray. For all those painkillers, huh? Hmm. We should tell the police. Maybe you could call Rob. We should definitely tell Julia. No, no, I'll, um, I'll deal with it. Um, look, I won't be long. Just get Jimmy and Elaine to cover, OK? How 
Do you manage it? I'm good at managing. <laughs> Everyone else's meetings that I go to, it's cold volivant. You, it's cordon bleu. What we save on biscuits, we put into lunch. Hmm, knowing you, I bet there are biscuits as well, and they'll be delicious. And if we eat too much... What do you think of it, honestly? What is that perfume you're wearing? Gerald. Why? What do you think of it? Wouldn't the money be better spent elsewhere? Where elsewhere? Dr. Granger, <laughs> you were right about me losing the first prescription, but I only found it after you'd done the second one, and I'd already given it to my grandson to get for me. So when I found the first one, I thought, well, he's written it out for me, I might as well get that done as well. You can't fill the same prescription twice. You say that now, but I just thought two months, four months, would save us both a bit of grief. You'd uh, better have them back. Oh, it's all right, Jez. Dr. Granger's here. We got my prescription twice. What are you talking about? I've got it here. How did you get it again? I found the one I lost. You can't get it twice, Grandad. I know that now. No harm done. I've got this one back. Let's just make sure that nothing like this happens again. Yeah, of course. Mr. Field. Get rid of those weights. If he has an attack halfway through lifting them, doesn't bear thinking about. Make sure. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. See you. Time for work, Randard. So if we could channel funds into doing our own research, practice by practice, we could actually find out where the money needs to be spent. I couldn't agree more. What I mean is, a group of GP practices being in control of a huge chunk of NHS money. I mean, we need to know what's going to happen when we're given full commissioning responsibilities. You'll be paying yourselves to provide the service. And that could be wonderful. Or a free-for-all. But, with detailed analysis, now, while there's still central money, we, 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 we could target certain areas, like commission more mental health care. I mean, there never seems to be enough money there. I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away, aren't I? So, where does it leave you when the PCT does go? A consultancy, perhaps. Can the consortia afford consultants? Someone's got to manage their commissioning. Well, isn't the point that we do that ourselves? But not every practice manager's as capable, nor indeed it, fragrant. Gerald. <laughs> it's exactly as you say, a question of how to spend the money. Hmm. Don't milk it, Grandad. This is me. You know how old I am? Yeah, but well, you can always stop. Talk soft. We'll be all right, you know. We don't settle for all right. You stop, you drop. The cat that got the Italian ice cream. Joel seemed rather interested in my alternative spending proposals. And you'll believe it. Combination. I don't remember you saying you were going to make alternative spending proposals. Got to keep something up my sleeve. Or your blouse. Well, I had to build bridges somehow, didn't I? What have you been up to? <laughs> well, I just thought a bit of pampering would be nice. Any work for Listen. <sighs> what, what I really wanted to say is, if you did want to talk anything, you know, about your dad or... Nothing's brought this on. I just, I, I just wanted you to know that you can talk to me.
Yeah. No, I, um, I'm really busy too. Okay, bye. See you later. Just take it to the cash desk. Dr. Granger. I thought you went into DIY. Obesity is an issue the PCT has always dealt with effectively. Commissioned care that GP practices have made every effort to implement. But as you all know, there are broader issues on the horizon. Issues that the practices themselves are at the heart of. After informally canvassing opinion today, I can see no evidence that GP practices themselves are capable of the clear strategic thinking provided until now by the PCT. So, who knows what's going to happen when those practices are given full commissioning responsibilities? It's not just me Jess helps out, it's my friends as well. Driving them places, doing their shopping, taking back their library books. Getting their prescriptions for them? Yeah, why not? Have you ever noticed if any of your medicine was missing? What do you mean? Well, when Jess brought it back for you. No. No way! Jez has never been in trouble in his life. Just call the police. I want to speak to someone informally before accusing anyone. Oh, and there was me thinking you wanted to show Julie you could run the place all on your own. Karen. All right. I'll text you. Hello? Try yoga. I'm busy. Enjoy. What if your granddad can outrun you? How many patients need what kind of care? How much it costs delivering the service? These aren't matters for a practice manager. I don't think he's talking about obesity pathways and anymore. GPs have I wouldn't no be so sure. Nor the qualification to set their own commissioning budgets. Do you want me to say something? Matters of make policy worse. implementation should be left in experienced hands. Consultants or even specialised private companies. Guess who's going to be running those? But first, we need to channel funds into our own research, practice by practice, finding out where we need to spend the money. It's very own obesity pathway. Yeah, despite what you think, I miss having you staying with me. Who wouldn't want me around? We're all happy you're here. I'm going to work out the end of my training contract and then that's it. So you get no satisfaction from helping your patients? What would replace that feeling if you did stop? Oh, um, I was thinking about maybe going travelling. What about direction, routes? Uh, well, left at the Ring Road, Birmingham Airport, Bangkok, Asia... I mean routes, double-O routes. Do I have any? Apart from Mum and Dad, of course. What about your patients? I'm sure you and the others would cope. I'm sure we would, but what about them? What about them? Well, they don't want me or anyone else. They want you. You can't just be replaced. What about these assessments? Excuse me? You've got final assessments, haven't you? Who have you been talking to? No one. You shouldn't be discussing my future with anyone but me. Simon. And that, as they say, the future of the overweight and weighing up the future. Thank you all for coming. Uh, can I... can I just say something? Violet. <laughs> This, this is a peon to the PCTs. This is a perfect example of how primary care trusts can achieve great things. But from what I've read, GPs are not keen about using the pathway. And the pathway can be held up by patients' lack of motivation or readiness to change. So why stop at patient-led services? Why not implement patient-led policy? Which means... GPs 
defining local strategy based on local needs. Forget overarching policy. The GP decides the clinical need in the first place. The dividing lines between overweight, obese, being big boned or just too busy to exercise or more concerned with more cerebral matters are very difficult to define. Overweight doesn't mean obese. One person's fat is another person's distinguished, prosperous, bacchanalian. So let's forget about all this and let the practices decide for themselves where the money should be spent. Bacchanalian. Bacchanalian. How stupid can you be? Keeping the packet that the pills are in, your patient's name on it. How did you know he was going to be here? I followed him. My phone rang. I had no choice but to tackle him. We'll need a statement. When you're ready. OK, I've got a meeting this afternoon. I can come after that. See you then. Dragging her off for some post-fight analysis. I thought it was a very positive meeting. So, you fancy yourself as a strategic thinker? Don't you? <laughs> Aren't you going to get that? Try and relax your breathing. That's it. Well, the police want to talk to me. I put them off. I didn't think you'd want to do it here. <sighs> That's probably enough. But for what it's worth, I don't think that Jez is all bad. I think he really is trying to look after you. Funny way of doing it. You could give him a chance. He's had one. Whether we want it is one thing, but whether we can handle it, let's just say I'm confident for a shrinking violet. I said you didn't look like a shrinking violet. That's not what you were thinking. How do you know what I was thinking? Right then. Lovely to have met you. I won't break anything. I should get that. Well, I hope it was worth it. Worth what? A little harmless flirting. Oh, well, you didn't actually sit on his lap, I suppose. <laughs> so how'd you go? Uh, well, you were right to be suspicious. Rob's arrested the grandson. And I will tell Julia. Oh, no time like the present. How's the meeting? Don't ask. Simon, I'm sorry. I haven't discussed your future with anyone. Do someone a favour. If I want people to know, I will tell them myself. What? My assessment. And for the record, not that it's anyone's business, yes, I am going to do them. What have you said to him this time? <sighs> I had a run-in with her on Friday. She was being an idiot. And now Julia's gone mad. What's happened? I put my foot in it. I recovered brilliantly. But is Ava Perron happy? Even though we got exactly what we wanted. Julia's angry. Didn't say a word the whole way home. And you thought she'd be pleased? She was getting screwed. We were getting screwed. And then I stepped in. She thought I was flirting with the chief exec, even though she did exactly the same herself. And she wasn't happy when you did. He was treating her appallingly. So you felt you had to intervene? OK, she said not to, but I did anyway. She doesn't usually worry about how I get a job done. So she's indulged you, in other words. What? Like some kind of prodigal daughter. Maybe she saw your flirtation as some kind of betrayal. Is this how you were talking to Simon? No wonder he couldn't wait to get out of here. I'm only trying to help. Well, don't. So you cocked things up with Julia, did you? Oh, don't start. <laughs> well, I've had an interesting day. What do you mean, had? We haven't even begun evening surgery yet. No, well, I've got this meeting. Does that mean you could have come to the PCT thing? No. Social services have had me on standby all day. Child protection, they finally rounded up both parents. Anyway, what I wanted to say was that I caught someone stealing their grandfather's prescription today. A patient of yours, Fred Field. Mm. How is the old flirt? <laughs> Still thinks he's Superman. Yeah. We all realise we're not one day, though. Won't be a second. Hello, 
lads. Everything all right? Circumstances beyond my control. Kids today. John Joe, it's Grandad Fields. Nice one. Usual place. Good lad. He'll uh, bring more stuff. The coppers got it all when they nicked Jez. Oh, uh, just take this to the cash desk. Makes it look like that's why you're here. All right. And you thought you'd sort it out by yourself rather than letting me know? I should have called. That is what I asked you to do. Still, it worked out okay in the end. just been talking to Zara. I thought you might want to talk as well. That was quick. She's busy. Cool. Are they ready for you? Last night there was an incident on your estate. What about it? Did you see anything? In case you've forgotten, I've been stuck in a cell. Are you know him? Of course I'm in. I'm microphobic. You and me are going on a little holiday. Wouldn't that be nice? 